Hey guys, this one is about building armor paint with Visual Studio. But before you can do this, you have to download Node.js. You can either download it from the start page, my OS is Windows, or you go to the download page and select the download for your OS. What you also need is Git to clone the sources to your local disk. You can press this button to download for your operating system. And after that, you can open a console. On Windows, this is the command prompt cd to a folder to which you want to clone the project and you do this recursively and this is the url which i also added to the description below okay now the cloning takes a while so i make a break here and once we clone the project we cd to armor paint and then i use node.js for chrome and core then the assets will be exported and the shaders will be compiled i speed this up because it takes a moment Ok, the setup for Chrome is ready, now comes the same process for Core. If you'd like to know what Chrome and Core is, I added a link to the description. Alright, now we have everything in place to build the Visual Studio solution for Armor Paint. So I go here to the Visual Studio solution file called Chrome SLN and open it with Visual Studio 2017. So here you can see the solution that contains a C++ project for armor paint that we have to compile. The first thing we have to do is to set the command arguments to build chrome. It's a folder inside of our working directory that we have to refer to when the application is started. And after that you can right click the project and choose build. Now you could run into a problem when you have Visual Studio 2019 installed. But before I fix this, I switch from debug to release build for 64-bit. And then I open the properties of the project. And here you can see that Visual Studio tries to use a platform toolset that is not installed. So I switch to the 141 that comes with Visual Studio 2017. And then I build again, but this also takes a while. Okay, after building this, we can press this icon here in the top bar to start the Armor Paint application. Unfortunately, there is this bug in the current version. There is this white triangle appearing at the position of my mouse cursor. I added a bug report to the Armory 3D GitHub, but as I'm recording this, I got a reply from the developer on how to work around this issue. You just go to the preferences and disable 3D brush cursor. And here we go. Now you can go ahead and paint onto your mesh. So this was how to build armor paint in the next tutorial i will show you how to use it i hope you like the video guys if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you have any questions add these to the comments below thanks for watching this thanks for your support and i see you soon here on jnm